What's up everybody? I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo. And I'm out here today because I need to do a somewhat side by side comparison of the Tamron, I mean Nikon 28 to 75 f2.8 and the Nikkor Z 24 to 70 f2.8s. Because I noticed some things whenever I was shooting this that I'm not quite sure exist in here and it's not for the better. So it could be like a design flaw in the 28 to 75, which you're going to come across these things for a thousand dollars less. But I just wanted to come out and shoot somewhat of the same things. I don't have two cameras where I can just load them up on like two tripods and and do this. Like, you know, I need one to record me and I need to shoot with the Z6 too because my Z9 has not arrived as of the making of this video. First off, right off the bat, I'm just going to take a picture of the yard and uh, we're going to compare like distortions. So let's go ahead and shoot one at 28. Make sure we get it properly exposed. Okay, now we're gonna try the 24 to 70. The 24 to 70, by the way, looks don't matter, but it looks way more handsome on the front of the mirrorless cameras. Uh, that's just, I mean, that's a silly point, but it's a thing. We'll see once I get these into Lightroom, which is going to happen in this video, so don't go anywhere. We're going to see if my suspicions are correct. Okay, we're back at the uh, 28 to 75. Let's thaw it out, see if we can get Lolly to sit long enough. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Good girl, stay. 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 You're such a good girl. No. <laughs> Stay. Stay. You're such a good girl. Stay. Good girl. You, you, can, you can get up. Come here. Good girl. Now, let's start back on the 2875. I'm going to go try to find something with a little bit of color. There's not much because spring has kind of just started, so. And we keep getting rained on and it's like it snowed yesterday, which is really strange. These flowers, which we've seen already from some kind of tree. This is a weird hybrid tree, like it grows, hybrid tree rather. It grows like a few different fruits. I don't know what the fruits are. Let's shoot one. And I'm just gonna shoot these Um, with not much care about sharpness because I just want to see color. We're just going to do one or two. And uh, now I'm going to switch out for the 24 to 70. All right, now let's try it with the 24 to 70. And there's our two for the 24 to 70. Is there anything else I wanted to compare? I did something for color saturation. I did something for sharpness. I did some lolly. There's one more thing. And I don't feel like walking back across the yard to grab the 28 to 75 again. And so I'm just going to take one picture with the 24 to 70. Look how handsome that looks on there. Um, I took this whenever I was doing the initial test shots. And... Uh, I just wanted to see, this is the biggest difference that I've seen so far. And I'm just going to see if this happens to be the case. Excuse me. Good girl. That's all I need from that one. So, now let's pop upstairs and uh, see what's going on in uh, Lightroom. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom, and the first thing I wanted to check was the uh, the distortion. So here's the 28 to 75 at 28. It's not horrible. Let's check this one. They seem to be about the same to me at 28. If anything, maybe the 24 to 70 is a little bit worse. 
Um, whether that's the lens or whether that's just four millimeters, I don't know. They both got some vignetting in the corners. It's not severe though. Okay, so let's look at the 28 to 75 first. F2.8, that doesn't seem particularly sharp. Whereas the 24 to 70 is rather wickedly sharp. Let's look at this one. Okay, this one's a little bit better, so perhaps we had some kind of blur. This looks much better. Also, the 24 to 70. Wow, God, I love this lens. It's, it's so good. This is the Nikon. Let's see if we can get the same kind of love for the 28 to 75. It's just, it, it is a little softer overall, I feel. It's a. Rather standard lens, I I suppose. Um, I want to take a better look at the. This is the twenty eight to seven. I I think the tones are pretty close, but overall, I do like the tones of the uh, twenty four to seventy a little better. trying to get an idea of bokeh I didn't I probably didn't get a good shot to really look at bokeh it seems like it might be a little um unpleasing on the bokeh it could just be the scene I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the judgment on that so far on on tones On tones, I think the 24 to 70 has got it just barely though. I mean, I'm, I'm being pretty, pretty picky. So it, it definitely has an edge on sharpness. It's just a much cleaner looking lens. This here is with the 28 to 75. This actually looks very nice. The colors look good. Let's compare that to The color saturation is very similar. Again, we're seeing what we saw a second ago, which is the sharpness of the 24 to 70 f2.8 is a little better than the 28 to 75. It's an overall worse image. We weren't even going for sharpness on this. Let's take a look at this and see if we have a preference of bokeh. No, that's not what I wanted. The bokeh looks similar in these shots, but I definitely didn't take a shot that would be a clear test. So we can disregard what we think about bokeh for now. Actually, it looks like we got some bokeh on the 24 to 70. Let's see if that is down here. It seems that the 28 to 75 is a little more round on the bokeh if you care about that. The uh, bokeh balls there. The 24 to 70 is a little more cat's eyed. They're both a little cat's eyed. This is definitely more uh, spherical. Okay, now the test I wanted to do well, through the viewfinder, this is what I've been leading up to. I was thinking that maybe the 28 to 75 was suffering from the same issue that the 85 millimeter Viltrox had, which was it was very harsh on highlights and so the Viltrox 85 millimeter 1.8 for the, uh, the Z mount seemed it, it, it did a lot better by having just a, a, a small or like a weak filter on it just to tame some of those highlights so let's see if it's apparent here before I go to the, this is a 2875 it'd probably be better if we get 
it's not apparent here. So this was from the Nikon 24 to 70 f 2.8. No, this is the 28 to 75. My apologies. And I was thinking through the viewfinder, this looked very, very harsh. Now let's see. Okay, so the highlights don't appear to be blown out in this shot. So that's actually a good thing. We'll find out in, in later videos, uh, whenever I have some real shots that aren't test shots, whether or not that is true, because I still felt like that was the case whenever I was doing the through the lens video that's coming up. And so from what I can tell here, I don't know that there is a justifiable difference between the two yet profile correction seems to be very close i like the tones of the 24 to 70 better than the 28 to 75 but with a little bit of editing you can make it work you know play with your temperatures a little bit i will say that the uh the color of the greens seemed let, let me bring this back down maybe uh, may, i may have just noticed this no they're about the same so uh they both have good color saturation. I like the tones a little bit of the 24 to 70 straight out of uh, straight out of camera, but you can play with your white balance and in, in your colors and, and make it work. So I, I don't see that much of a difference yet, but we will see more coming up. So it, in the comments below, let me know uh, if you can really see a justifiable difference that amounts to a thousand or more dollars. I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade and Z Wade Photo, and I will catch you in the next one.